Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do your August the 28th Spiritual Principle Day in a meditation. I'm so excited to be with you. Hope you're ha having a beautiful morning. I'm recording from Sweet Home, Alabama. Yes, I have made it off the ocean and in a hotel lobby here with you. So please excuse any background noise. I'm hoping that you cannot hear. Okay, and today is my 30th year clean. And I'm excited. If you want to join me tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be in our Feel the Love group of NA on Zoom. And the details are down below in the description. So I hope to meet you. Okay, treating ourselves with respect. We start by not engaging in self-abuse and gradually learn to treat our body, mind, and spirit with honor and respect. Living Clean, Chapter 4, Wellness and Health. Many of us could accurately describe our active addiction as suicide on the installment plan. Thankfully, when we stop using drugs, we eliminate a main catalyst of our self-destructive behavior. Without the compulsion to get high, it's easier to avoid the degradation and criminality that brought us to love new lows again and again. Abstinence is one clear marker of our restoration to sanity, and it's certainly a good place to start. Being, a clean, being clean allows us to think more clearly, and that clarity enables us to consider who we've been and who we want to be. The steps offer guidance as we examine our lives, our motivations, and our choices. We learn from the experience of other recovering addicts, and it gives us the courage we need to strip away the guilt, remorse, and shame. Taking care of our whole selves, body, mind, and spirit, is part of the amends we make to ourselves. Oh, I love that. Addiction touches all areas of our lives, and so must our recovery. Many of us seek professional help to find specific healing. One addict shared, my first sponsor explained that doctors, dentists, and therapists can also be powers greater than myself. Still, many of us struggle with the urge to undermine our success or to sabotage healthy impulses. Progress is often two steps forward, one step back, but that progress, but that's progress nonetheless. As with using, we become aware of harmful habits before we're willing to or able to make a change for the better. Our tolerance for self-deception lessens as we gain self-respect. With the help of our higher power, we're quicker to learn the lessons, to stop unhealthy habits, or to take up new practices that honor our body, mind, and spirit. That's a big component in this meditation today. I will honor my recovery process and treat myself with respect today. What can I start or stop doing to better care for myself. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the we version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Yeah. Thank you, God. Grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change. The loud lady talking in the lobby. <laughs> The courage to change the things that we can, my attitude, and the wisdom to know the difference just for today, please, and thank you. How about that, guys? I, th I think she's just maybe like the lobby personnel that goes around talking to all the guests, and she is just killing me, just killing me. I wish I had gone to my car, but I wanted to make sure that I had good internet connection. And nonetheless, this meditation is beautiful. <laughs> August 28th, treating ourselves with respect. So here we're talking about our former behavior. 
right, of committing suicide on an installment plan by using our active addiction compared to who we are today. No longer engaging in that specific self-destructive behavior. But there's other things. Oh my goodness, there's so many things that I still am working on. So many things. It's like you put the drug down and other things kind of pick up uh, the transferring of our obsessions, right? It, they go from one thing to the next to the next. And before you know it, you may not be, you know, I'm not using drugs. Okay, 30 years today. Okay, that's wonderful. But what other things am I using? What other behaviors do I have that are not healthy? What other areas am I not really applying the program, whether it be to my body, my mind, or my spirit? I have to think about that because in that answer lies a greater fulfillment of me being able to be happy, joyous, and free. That's all it is, right? And I'm going to say that's all it is. But that's everything that it is, right? I have to look at those areas. If I don't look at those areas, that negative Nancy thinking, right, can still come up. And I can find myself not accessing the fullness of the happy, joyous, and free that comes with being able to make choices today. Can you imagine intentionally choosing to be miserable? A lot of people do it. You know, I used to work at a, a center for women. It was a safe haven for women that were victims of the domestic abuse, right? And we used to take them in or they were women, um, you know, women that were sex workers, um, and they wanted to get out of that. They wanted to get away from their pimps, right? Uh, and so we would take these women in. Do you know how many times these abused women, and believe me, it can be men too. Uh, it was a facility for women. So if it was men that were trying to get away from an abuser, we put them in hotels, right? which is a trigger all in itself, but let's just keep going. <laughs> Let me just tell the story, all right? How many of those individuals chose to go back to the lifestyle that they were living? Even though they were safe, there was no way for them to be found out. And not only that, an opportunity to move to any state that they wanted to move to, with a voucher to help them with their first month's rent and their security deposit. It was a beautiful program, lots of money behind it. But I would say by far the majority would choose to go back to that life. And my heart would just break. An opportunity to be free, but bound in prison within my own mind is a horrible, horrible state of existence. And it happens every day. Okay, so that's a bit dramatic, right? Anyone can look at that, listen to that story and say, yeah, I, I would never do that. I would never do that. Okay, but you can't stop what? You fill in the blank. Because I can fill in so many things. Um, You can't stop lusting you can't stop overeating you can't stop not resting your insomnia is getting the best of you and you refuse to get any help or do anything natural about it you can't stop filling the blanks because there's tons of things that we as recovering individuals transfer our obsessions to and we're still not accessing the total happiness, the joy, the freedom that we possibly could because we are not abstaining in other areas that would make our mind, body, and spirit much more fulfilled. 
this is this is serious i don't know why god put like i don't remember reading this last year <laughs> i'm sure i did i'm sure there's a meditation but i don't remember reading this last year nor do i remember reading that just for today last year on this date and you would think my clean date i would actually remember what the meditations were but i don't i'm like god you are too funny how are you going to give me all of this deep stuff on august 28th but you know why I believe it's because I need to go to a whole nother level. I need to go to another level and reach another level. And I'm only going to do it as I continue to cleanse myself in the power of the 10th step, the 11th step, and the 12th step. As I continue to apply the principles of this program, and as I continue to make the needed adjustments so that I am treating myself with respect right that takes a lot that's important do you see where it says here in the third paragraph still many of us struggle with the urge to undermine our success or to sabotage healthy impulses that would be me that would be me and these peppermint hard candies that would be me that would be me I have so many other areas and I admit it to you today openly because I have nothing to lose by not doing it and I have everything to lose by not being honest right I have nothing to lose by doing it and I have everything to lose by not my name is my stream I've enjoyed talking to you today I hope that you will have a beautiful day on purpose I intend to talk to you tomorrow 